What's going on with y'all, man? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, man? Bipolar Entertainment in the building. I got a banger for y'all today, man. First off, I want to say thank you so much, Midnight Man. I really needed to hear this. Uh, he was doing reviewing people's gaming gaming page on YouTube, and I submitted mine. And luckily, he got to it because a boy was getting sleepy. Everybody was submitting theirs, <laughs> so it got a little crazy. Um, he actually did a 30 minute review, so it, uh, it's a little long winded. I'm going to do my best with the edit. Uh, that's not my strong suit right now. So I'm going to do my best with the edit later in production. So if it's a little long, I apologize. It's a great watch though, not just for myself, but for other up and coming streamers and content creators like myself. Uh, but some good information for y'all, man. So let's lock Polar in. Polar Gaming. Uh, let's see. I need to find your exact channel here. I don't think that that is it. Uh, did you submit your... Yes, you did. Thank you, friend. You did this. You made it easy for us. Uh, that is concerning, though, that you didn't pop up uh, right within the... Like, searching you. Like, that's like, what the heck? Like, why are you not here? Like, what? <laughs> YouTube playing those games, as always. Jeez, that's crazy. Yeah, it was. Oh, man, I feel bad. No, I don't see you. I think a lot in my part was actually that uh, I changed my name recently to Bipolar ENT uh, Gaming. And even looking from a, a bunch of the comments, I, I should I left it at what it was, how I had it before, Bipolar ENT. It's kind of hard to get your same name across all platforms because a lot of people might already have it, and it's hard to find a variant of it. But I got to sort it out. Thank you for that. Man. Oh, man. We got some work to do, my friend, to get you up in the search. Like, you should be first. Like, I'm searching up name by exact name, and they're not sh showcasing you here. They're showing bipolar gamers here. Uh, obviously, a little bit of bigger, bigger channel here. Um, but yeah, let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can set you, yeah, set that you was up, crazy. Get, you, get, you, get you rolling here a little bit. My day was good, Black Tie. Thank you for asking. Love it, man. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Got your channel. That's the name I was thinking. I'm like, what is this? Channel ad? Yeah, channel... we were trying to figure out. What? Like, it's channel trailer. My brain, bro. Which I, I'm in the process <laughs> like... of redoing. I'm in the process of redoing my channel trailer because, as you can see, it was made six months ago. So my quality and equipment has gotten way better since then. So I took it down to make a new one. So Got, it, was, it was right there. <laughs> And uh, now it connected the dots. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I hope your day was good as well, Black Tie. So let's take a look. Let's see what you got going on here. Uh, so we have 137 subscribers, 117 videos. Uh, looks to be a combination of regular videos and shorts. Uh, a lot of a lot of good shorts here. It looks like it looks like it's uh, kind of built up well here. That's what. That's another thing I learned about YouTube. My shorts are actually bringing in majority of my subscribers, and that's crazy. That once I figured out the format of my flowing for my shorts, oh my goodness, man! Shorts are definitely it for people out there watching. Take the time to make your shorts. People like them, and if they like them enough, they'll come on over. Let's go. Let's check out what you got in the channel trailer here at first. I'm sorry. That is that is loud for y'all. <laughs> It's loud for me. It's loud for me. I have since fixed that for my intro. My intro was a bit loud, and I didn't know how to change it, and I figured that out. For all of us. <laughs> got the high-quality audio. <laughs> I love my old videos, though, man. Those were fun times on Rebirth Island. <laughs> no more rebirth. I hope this isn't copyrighted. It was, I'm, I'm gonna click yeah, on this, this and is, be this, sure. I don't this is what uh, make crazy a, is because make that's error. me rapping, okay, yeah, and I had to tell him in chat yeah. that that was me Good rapping. Stuff, my friend, one of my old, one news. of my old songs, one of my old songs back in the day. To my left, too. Down one. Man, it's just popping off. One more, one more in the tip. One more. That's so early. Good. Oh, oh my. Rebirth. Woo. Uh, I wish they never took rebirth away. Dude, that's a, that's a great sign. If I'm checking to make sure it's not copyrighted, like, brother, you flowing. You flowing, man. Good stuff. 
I appreciate that. Good stuff, man. Like I, I, I literally thought this was some uh, real, like you know, stu studio stuff. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. <laughs> Getting a new I subscriber like in the process of this. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> God, my quality has gotten so much better since then. So one thing that comes to mind for for this is I I would have um, since like the music is kind of loud and uh, you know your voice is kind of in the I, it's not like not like it's not like you can't hear it but. I think in this case, it would have been good to add a little bit of like auto captions or some subtitles somewhere so that when you're yeah, saying yeah. some stuff, it's like, okay, we can clearly we can hear what you said and we can actually see what you said on the screen. Like, you know, the, the text that kind of pops up. And for channel trailers, that can make the, the trailer very exciting uh, if you're going to have a channel trailer. You don't have to, but I see kind of what you did here with like a little bit of montage. Uh, for, for a montage <laughs> like this, I would have probably made the cuts a little quicker and, yeah. uh, and like the action a little bit more jam-packed or faster but i mean i kind of I, I like what you did here with the with the channel trailer i think it's good but yeah definitely some auto captions would have been yeah, nice my next one's here gonna be nice. what you say right away as you say it and it's like i, I don't even question what you say uh, and it kind of makes the <laughs> uh the video a little bit more interactive i'd say okay, and engaging okay. if you have those kind of texts pop up on screen uh, especially when it's not like super clear what you're saying but cool cool so far i like it quality's good too yeah. Down them, you <laughs> Why is it taking so many bullets to kill him? <laughs> and you don't need captions everywhere. Like just some parts where like, like, it, like where it's like a really like, crazy or an important part. And then you can throw in uh, some captions. Yo, thank you. Lose cool. You lose your cool. For the five dollars <laughs> super chat, bro, I appreciate it. If you want your channel reviewed, I will review it. Just let me know if you don't. Uh, but I, by default, I will try to review it. <laughs> Thank you, though. I'm cool, cool, cool. So uh, let's much, check out um, some more of your content here. Let's go into your videos. Um, this one, oh, it's a minute and forty-five, my friend. Uh, shorts are capped at fifty-nine seconds, so you won't have this forwarded to your short shelf. Yeah, I had to learn that. Um, just because you put hashtag shorts. So it's a automatically a long form video at this point. And you can tell because that video didn't pop up here and it's just yeah. here. So keep that in mind. Whenever you're doing your your uh, your your shorts and your long form videos, just keep it keep it under 59 seconds or a minute. It doesn't look like you did that before. Four, yeah. so. And see, this is what I like to point out to a lot of people that are starting in the game, which I didn't know. As you can see, 10 months. This year alone, my next level of what I've done as far as footage, like, see, I got a bunch of old PS4 games on here and stuff. I was testing out stuff. You know, it's just, it's, the quality definitely went up. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's good to get to know now, right? Good to know. Uh, for your future thumbnails, also, I would avoid having black bars here. Like, just make it, uh, like, maybe modify. I don't know if you have the actual, like, file for this, for your logo. But if anything, you want to <laughs> just make it flesh with the, the whole 1920 by 1080 canvas. So that way you don't have black borders because it just looks a little nicer thumbnail-wise if you... If you yeah, and I definitely took a heed to that, man. I found that program. Uh, let's see if we can uh, let's go through. This is a little rant. Little, we we went on a little bit. Let's see. Uh, so you said, I think so I'm trying to do shorts for frame. YouTube and focus on my live streams for Twitch or live streams. Yeah, this for was YouTube. real. This is real good information he gave me. I want to share with y'all. Okay. That's actually fine. And you know what you can do with at least the videos, if you're going to start putting a focus towards live streams is you can actually use YouTube as a great place for highlights. Uh, like you can have like a few highlight clips there, or you can have like, like, let's say your best game gameplay uh, out of your stream. 
like the best game that you had you can put that into a full video on youtube like people like nick mergs and ninja big channels they do those kind of things like their main thing is streaming but at times they will upload you know their full uh, a full piece of gameplay a piece of content you know keeping it i would say no more between 12 to 15 minutes when you start getting over the 15 minute mark it's kind of like oh man this this, this is a pretty long video uh, and it better have some some definitely some good now that was definitely great information i took from because i had no idea on what i really wanted to post on youtube outside of doing shorts so that was a great great point he gave to me i definitely adhere to that it's substance behind it if you're gonna start going higher than 15 20 minutes 20 minutes is definitely pushing it for uh, the length of the video uh, but i guess for your case i think it would be good if you're gonna stick with the live streams and like you're getting a little bit of views here on your live streams not too bad um you can definitely repurpose some of that content and, and put it over to your your long form videos um but let, let's see taking a look at i, I mean i like that you kind of tried to do some custom thumbnails here on your live streams and they don't look too bad this one's actually probably the most interesting at least to me like you put your <laughs> face on the character that's unique that looks cool this is a really nicely put together thumbnail um this thumbnail here that you did here is like it's not bad but at the same time it could have been placed a little bit different and this is like and i've really been working on my thumbnails like oh my god yeah i have no idea how much more time and work and then from him because you can see from you can see from two months ago to two weeks ago you know i'm getting better at doing it so with him telling me that even let me know even when he points out of where the time is and stuff like that of areas covering up words i just stuff i just didn't notice that affects in your thumbnail and that was like great information uh, and the way that it's structured could have been different because you just have like your channel banner there which is nice and all, but it's super small. Like, you, like the logos, like you really don't need your logos in the in the thumbnails because the majority of people, like you only have like a little over a hundred subs. Majority of people on YouTube aren't going to recognize that logo or who you are. Like you got to kind of draw them in first and to, to make them know who you are. They're not going to know you just based off of the the logo you put there. And you're saying, yeah, this is my name. Here's my image and here's my face and this is what we're gonna play. Like nobody knows who you are yet. So having these kind of thumbnails, it's just really hard to get new viewers in because they're like, I don't know what this is. Like when somebody's when someone's scrolling through a bunch of content quickly, it's not gonna register in their brain that you're playing <clears throat> Warzone. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. It's not gonna register in their brain that they're playing that you're playing COD. They're gonna keep scrolling until they find a thumbnail that like resonates with them quickly and it takes seconds or maybe milliseconds in their brain to register that that's a Call of Duty live stream and I wanna check that out. I agree, you know, and I definitely took a lot of that information and uh, went with it, you know. There's another key point about thumbnails he was placing for me. At the thumbnails here, see how this guy's face is really big here. You can see a facial expression here. You see some emotion. Uh, it's very clear you have some emotion here in your face like yeah i'm gonna tough this game out you're gonna be lit with it but like like at the same time it's so far away uh it's really hard to see like any of those small objects it's it's just difficult so if you have like if you have the image blown up a yeah and that's just another great idea a great tip he gave me man he gave a couple examples of content you know when i get to the next level of uh learning this art <laughs> i definitely i definitely definitely like appreciate your full it. arm in there and your full head if they're not in yeah, there then you're gonna need to like that. throw this this really should be over to the right or something and then like blown up a little bit further so that it doesn't look like your your components are chopped off and missing because mm -hmm. it just looks a little incomplete uh from like an object uh or and i agree with him i totally agree with him i loved it i'm i'm glad he pointed that out to me you know, let me see. What do we do here? Which is stupid, <laughs> but uh, figure out where you want to stream um, and trying to and kind of, you know, build content around there. Let's see the quality of your streams. And also, uh, you know, you can continue to, uh, like I said earlier, make short form content out of mm -hmm. your long form videos or your long form streams. You can make long form videos out of your streams. That's what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Let's uh, let's take a look at your uh... quality's looking good though. 
Like way like this quality here, this quality here, bro, it's looking really nice and it's a lot better than the old content that you posted mm -hmm. up. That's why I I wouldn't Maybe be we'll... opposed to deleting those old videos because the quality is just like super, you know, poor on yeah. those videos. Like to be frank, like a 720p and it's just looking oh, blurry. I agree. And you don't I agree. have titles even for any of those. I agree. This definitely is definitely a starter program I had going on here. Uh let me move this out the way for y'all. I know that's so unprofessional. Uh, let me move this out the way for y'all. Those videos, so like, just, just like, yeah. I, I, you know, fr get a fresh start almost. Like, it's not a bad thing to get a fresh start because you only have 138 subs, and you know, part of the journey is learning how to do. And I agreed. I'm so happy. We ended up uh, making a decision. We wiped out all the old stuff, all the old stuff, or erased it, uh, and tidied up the page more and whatnot. Man, like it was definitely. Definitely, definitely. These type of streams. Good information I needed. Videos, like getting to edit better. Like it's not a bad thing to delete or at least unlist a lot of those old videos that just weren't good. Like you know they're not good. You know you're better now. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of move forward with it. You can take the skills you learned from making all those bad videos and making better videos now, making better thumbnails, better titles, all that stuff. So it's okay to delete or remove those videos from your, your channel. And yeah, that's what I was pointing out. Like that was actually actually <laughs> that was awesome man like this is definitely awesome content he gave me the thumbnails here a bit um quite i would say a little bit quite significantly to try to draw people in more yeah and have really targeted uh titles too because he's and that's another thing i didn't realize that on twitch you do it a little different with your titles on youtube it's something different with your titles and my titles were way too long for YouTube, way too long. That's just some information for anybody watching this that's getting into this. Short and to the point titles on YouTube. Short and to the point, I promise you. Titles look to be pretty long. Mm -hmm. Hit the sub button, proximity chat on. Yeah, I, I would say, season for streams, especially gaming streams, it's good to have a goal in mind for the stream. Like, what do you want to accomplish in that stream? Like, do you want to go like, uh, I mean, for like Call of Duty, maybe you want to go 30 and 0, you want to get a nuke or yeah. you, you want to win every single war zone game. Like, what's the goal? Do you have a challenge in mind? And that's, and I took, man, I took so much information from that. I promise you. As dude, dude gave me so much information in 30 minutes. What kind of content you're going to be posting, um, you know, moving forward um, on the uh, on the channel. But thank you, man, for submitting. Yeah, I got it. I uh, really, yeah. really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the super chat as well. Uh, means a lot. Uh, and I appreciate the support. And I hope that these things are able to help you out here a little bit. I know it kind of, we kind of went ham on the channel. <laughs> we, we were going at it for a little while, but I hope that not only just helped you, but it helped everybody that it's watching the stream right now to, to get an idea of the things that they could do to kind of help position their videos and their channel for growth for the future. So, yeah. I agree. Mm. Thank you so much, Yo, man. His bars were good. <laughs> the man makes his own music like right on dude you don't even have to worry about copyright issues you just make your own stuff you just, yeah, just, that's, that's the way to do it just make your own music <laughs> there you go thank you so much midnight man for the review man that was like that was i said it was much needed information i needed definitely helped me help me grow he definitely stopped by the channel a couple of times since then and show love and support, man. I definitely appreciate it, man. Y'all make sure y'all go follow him, man. Make sure I tag him up in the videos, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Let's get it.